What up, people? Welcome to the channel. I appreciate everyone subscribing last video. However, we can do better. We went from 78% not subscribed to 74%, but like that's still a lot of percents. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm waiting for it. Okay, we'll start the video now. Here's the backstory. We in Canadian land, right? It's snowing outside. And a four turbo Honda Civic, probably not ideal for when it's snowing outside, right? Now, what would be better than a four turbo Honda Civic in the snow would be a snowmobile, right? In the winter time? Correct, Kyle, you're so smart sometimes. Or better yet, why don't we just turn our Honda Civic into a snowmobile? So we have some tracks. Huge shout out to Shane. He's a warped fab on Instagram. Good thing we have adjustable coilovers because we're gonna jack this thing up as high as it can go to get the maximum ground clearance. And then we're gonna try and get these um, somehow bolted to the tires or wrapped around the tires and inflated. We're gonna come up with a plan anyways. Um, you guys are probably gonna come up with a better plan in the comments and then I'm gonna be like, oh, I should have did that. I may be a little bit crazy, but I like having fun. the handbrake on. Now I don't actually have any of these wrenches so we're probably anyways you've got to tighten up these rings somehow because there's no actual increased ride height on this which normally this will be threaded as well. So I guess we just have to increase spring pressure on this one. Chicka chicka, uh, let's do it. This might take a while. And by a while, I mean like forever. I wonder if that's slotted. Oh, well, that was stupid, Kyle. I think I stand corrected. It looks like we can actually put our bolt like through this. So we'll gain probably an inch of clearance on the shock right here. Driver's side is raised up, the passenger side is not. So I'm gonna drop both sides now and see the difference. So it's only like two inches maybe, this side. Like flush. Um, there is a sway bar in there that's gonna try and balance it out, I guess. So, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this strut out. We're gonna try and crank it all the way up. Pull this strut out. Do the same thing where we adjusted it a little bit and then try and crank it all the way up as well. There we go. We have super street dampers. They're actually adjustable on top, which is kind of unexpected. But um, we'll try and loosen these off, maybe clean up all the threads and then jack these all the way up to the top. Just trying to make them stiff so we get some more ground clearance. Say what I think you just said? I said it was slicker than pickup lines at a junior high dance. So what? Look at all the hood rack dudes coming out of the woodwork now. Yeah, that thing takes forever to school. What are you doing? Uh, trying to adjust the coilovers to make it higher. Good idea, bad idea. Oh, well, having a lower buggy, probably not a good idea. See yeah. that, co that coilover tool? <laughs> is that a master? Yeah, this is a hood rack racing life over here. I love how everyone in my last video loved my quote, you can't tie knots, tie lots. Look at it, it's just corroded. So what I'm doing is I'm just backing these off all the way. Backing these off all the way, I'm taking the springs off, I'm just running them over the wire wheel. And uh, it just makes it easier to, to adjust them. Because at the end of the day, Peter Carr did come with good coilovers. For an Integra though. So I don't know if it's- in That means they're middle class fancy, Kyle. It is, because Acura is better than Honda, isn't it? Well, it was supposed to be. Good thing that vice is portable. You can just move it where you need it. I mean, if somebody wants to donate me a vice, so we can mount it, 
go right ahead. But I need this one portable because it holds all my welding stuff and everything all the time. Good cranking it muscles. I just need to clean it up a little bit because I, I done fucked it up. Spit on it. Oh, my pussy. Sorry, this is PG rated, I think. I don't know anymore. Golden fuckboys. Yeah. And my favorite golden fuckboy is Keith Ray's a cunt. <laughs> Shout out to the Mick. Shout out to the Mick 26. Okay, let's see. Uh, Bomb Instagram content for the boys. Oh my god. Is it ever? It's probably like the most underrated Instagram page ever. I got some Ray Trailer Park Boys, Matt. So I went to the casino last night. I lost $90 playing blackjack. But then I decided to go play another game. So I took out 200. Then I lost that. And I took out 200 more, and that would be my limit. And I walked out of the casino with a total of $500. So I made $500 last night. <laughs> now mind you, if you take into account what I spent, I made $10 for an hour of my time. But that's Trailer Park Boys Ray math. Yeah. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she doesn't go. <laughs> ah, that's better. Now we got some clearance. Some clearance. I mean, that's something to work with. She got that Mexi, the, that Cali lead bra. Well, there's no steel in it anyways. There might be steel in the center. Look at that sexy Milron banner. Grad's guy logic. Watch this. He's going to piss in the backyard, even though there's a perfectly good toilet just inside the house. I got to pee. Why are you watching me pee? There's a bathroom. Right, right where the catio is, is the bathroom. But he pees outside. You're so strong. I really no. thought there was going to be metal in there. Yeah, no metal. Cool. <laughs> Hercules! So what I'm thinking is like, what if we deflate the tire? You put it in like this. The question is, how do you clamp the track? Back onto itself? With what? Do you Bolt? just tack a weld on it? For some reason, I didn't think there was these little cogs on the middle, but that's stupid of me because I know that's how they drive the track is with these little cogs. Oh my god. 27? That's like trying to fit that radio in there. That would like just barely fit in there. Might be taking a fender and a bumper off. Yeah. Maybe this is where we ask the internet to down there tell us how we should do this. Yeah, but we gotta try and make a successful attempt at it. So I believe these tires are gonna be too tall. What I'm gonna try and do is get some steel rims that are hopefully seven inches wide because that's the distance between here. And then we can actually weld these little cleats to the steel rim every two inches the whole way around the tire. And I think that'll be the best way to do this. Um, so we'll be running on a rim and a track, but we're YOLO specialists. YOLO! Looking pretty easy to cut. So it's just because you got muscles. technique then. Six dance, bro. Yeah. Oh damn, everybody's in the house now. We got the 881 crew. I'm getting my work on. Tokyo <laughs> and oh. the Jim Jam 5000. Look at the hoodie on you. I know right. That says boosted lifestyle. Oh. You repping. Paul has told us that he has four steel rims, but we're gonna trade our four aluminum rims for his four steel rims. So we're gonna do that now. Here she is! She's finally in a video! What the hell? Where have you been? Where have you been? What do you mean? You 
know. You know this. She are an alien. That's right. She was at Area 51. <laughs> she went to get out her family and she got trapped in. Yeah. She's responsible for making all the, the... The dank memes? The dank... No, the dank stickers. Decknels. Decknels. You know how to work that? No, no. No? No. Kyle bought a camera on fucking eBay. And it had a sex video on it. He might have told me that, I can't remember. I mean, he deleted it. I did delete it. Out of respect for the people? Or After he watched it. After watching it, of course. I like the first one. We're downgrading. Some people are gonna be mad that we're getting rid of our SI rims or whatever blades. SIR. SIR blade. GSR would be blade. But I don't know if you've seen, there's like a Honda here, there's one over there with an intercooler as well. There's one in the garage. Middle class fancy Honda. Another AKA Honda right Acura. there. There's a Honda meet here. Tires are seven. The rims are six and a half on the outside, so that's probably six on the inside. So how big is six inches, Kyle? Like this. Can confirm. <laughs> <laughs> that's down. Fucking man. Kyle, could you, could you just walk us through what sort of uh, skull fuckery is going on here? Is that a piece of a roller? No. Look, if it doesn't work, you just gotta keep adding metal until it works, so. I'm not sure if that broke the beat or melted the tire. <laughs> it is melting the tire though, because it's so hot. Put it in the snow. Hit the grinder. Yeah. Make it smell like a sleepover at Kent's again. Yeah. Ah. Did we just do a thing? It's in yours. Now for just two easy payments of $99, you can buy a Kyle's Custom Speed Breaker. Two payments, $99.99. Ask fast, you'll probably get a hand job. Uh, it probably, it, I don't know if it comes with a real XXR or not. Are you paying me off of that right now? Jesus, Murphy. I mean, the tire's pretty bad, I'd say. I mean, if you spent some time to make one of these, it probably won't cost you much. Oh, I already told the YouTubes that we're selling them for two easy payments of $99.99. And if they act fast, you're probably given a hand job. Oh, wow. So. I'm in for some hand jobs. I think the people on the internet are gonna be like, OMG, is that a real XXR that you're doing that to? <laughs> oh. Are we curling or doing tires? What more hood rat is a build than building your own thing to try and de the tire? Which in turn destroys the tire. That's like a fire change in the tire. <laughs> <laughs> this took us half an hour to figure that out. <laughs> Lubricate the holes. Lubricate the holes, you don't want to get any rash. Hey! Oh! Oh. Yeah. Wait, wait, we're gonna try to check and see if it even fits over the brakes. Oh. I hope. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, boy. That looks like that fits better. Yeah. Like that would fit on the <clears throat> Civic. I'm not sure what we're going to do with Skidoo tracks, to be 100% honest, but I mean. Okay, let's cut this one, like, right here. So these tracks are. <laughs> I think it's because you're French. No problem. <laughs> 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 
the one? Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna let him go. <laughs> Right. I gotta put the ground. You gotta put a ground on, bud. On a wheel now. Oh. Oh, it might be the rubber. Yeah, you were burning the rubber, dude. Oh, okay. I was burning through that cleat thing. Yeah. Okay. Maybe less. I was <laughs> less less ampular, tampulars, but more send. Just be faster. Because I think you have to like heat the metal first. Okay. You want to check your adjustment there before you fucking. I did. Ow. Yeah. It's pretty nice in here. It actually fit pretty good. You almost fell. So we have to cut a bit off the end here. Dude! I may try to smoke it, huh? We're getting high on our own supply. Yeah. <laughs> very true. Except our supply is shitty skidoo tracks and Honda wheels. <laughs> You're telling us that's home game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there might be steel inside that. It's a face of determination. I think there's steel inside this, though. Right there? Yep. Gonna bring the rubber, I'll bring it outside, though. Yeah. It's gotta make a... Safety William. No, you missed one. <laughs> huh? It's not the size. Did she just, that's what she said yeah? Yep. Always. Oh man. Where did I put the impact? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> What are you gonna do now? <laughs> Let's lower it down on the other side too with just this tire. Let's deflate this tire so it falls down though. What? The valve core tool? I think you will. Yeah, I think you will. <laughs> I think you will need one. Oh, now we're good. Ah, we go, bro. And the back is way up too. Yeah, so it's gonna. Oh, no, you're good. It looks sick though. In a it's way. funny. <laughs> what if we lower the back of it? Is that better? Yeah, Look, the bumper's yeah. not so low off the ground now. Yeah, it's a better. Damn, son. Now we just have to make one for the other side. Welcome back, it's just me today, day two. Uh, we had this one just tacked up for now. It needs more work. We have to work on uh, getting the other wheel off and breaking that one and getting the track fitted to that and some final welding. So I'm gonna clean up here a little bit, uh, get my suit on and just jump right into it. Talk about taking a ride on the struggle bus. So we got that tire off as you can see. 
We grind down this part of the rim right here, and then we grind down these little uh, cleats in the track, and then uh, we just weld them to these. And the way this wheel fits is it's gonna sit flush against those ribs on the back, and then we can weld them straight here, and then we end up cutting the track like right here on the outside of these things. And instead of a grinder this time, we got the reciprocating saw today, so less dust in here. Less rubber boogers in my nose, because last night I went home and I picked my boogers and they were just like, ooh, black. So it went on a lot like what you just seen in the time lapse. We tack welded it on this side and on that side on all of the cleats. And then on the front here, some of them have a bit of weld, some of them just have tacks. So I'm hoping that that will hold up. There's nothing on the back side, so we're gonna have to join the back side where the track overlaps here, perhaps. And uh, yeah, and then we cut it right here and keep this groove to stop the wheel from like trying to, the track trying to move in and out. So that wheel's done. This wheel, I have to take it off and finish welding it up because it's just tacked together. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Because you can see, Canadian Land's a party right now and we kind of need this. Also, I know you pooping. Looks good on this side. Let's just take it down to the end of the road and back because I don't want to like break one off and I don't have a spare tire to get it back to the garage, so kind of pooped. Nothing broken. None of the pack welds are cracked. That's my short little test. We're gonna need to get this out to like a field or something. I don't want skis on the back so it kind of floats and it's not dragging the rear wheels. So we're gonna try and make some skis and get it to a field and next video. So make sure you guys are subscribed. I won't be able to do that myself, unfortunately. Kind of need a crew of people to do that. But you can definitely feel the extra traction in the front for sure. It doesn't roll as good, but I feel like once you're under power with this engine, like even if it makes 200 horsepower, that this thing's gonna boogie. It's gonna, it's gonna either boogie or it's gonna like make a hole and sink down, but I don't think we're gonna try and get in a field with that much snow, just like two inches of snow enough to like, make it fun, make it fun. So make sure you guys are, wow. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. 
Um, remember only like 74% of you are watching or subscribed. Give it a thumbs up. Peace easy. Get that V. Man, all this hood rat shit's making me excited.